الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير الحمد لله رب العالمين with the mercy and blessing of Allah سبحانه وتعالى we are here together in the month of Ramadan and alhamdulillah I hope you have our materials our books and everything together so we begin with duas let's say it together أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير رب زدني علما Now you can all unmute and you can all say this اللهم إني أسألك علما Good job. Good job. I can say the dua without looking. Excellent. So this dua should be should have internalized this every morning. Rasulullah Sallam would say it, and we can ask Allah, O oh Allah, I ask you for knowledge which is beneficial, and sustenance which is pure, and deeds which are acceptable. Now the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is our final project for this year. Hmm. <laughs> so who would tell me what is our PBL for this? Year, who can tell me what is the PBL we are working on? Okay, Naila, go ahead. Naila raised her hand. Naila, go ahead, sweetie. Um, we are making. Um, yes, Naila. You remember? Okay, Isa, go ahead. You want to help? The PBL for first grade is invents, like doing robots or something that includes sound or light, invention. Very good. You gave me some good clues. Naila, you want to add something more to it? No? Okay. All right. So very good, Isa. You got us started. We are making something. We are like super problem solvers. And you know what? In the month of Ramadan and in the time of quarantine, we have our families together at home. And sometimes what we want to do is we want to call everybody for salah. And we want to call everybody for iftar or we want to call everybody for lunch or dinner, uh, you know, pre-Ramadan time. And then what happens is that you enter daddy's room and he is in a conference call with his office. <laughs> Anybody has ever experienced that? That you entered and you are in camera hmm? because there was a meeting going on or something like that? Is there anybody who experienced that? Naila experienced that? How about the rest of us? A lot of times. My um, mom's in a meeting. <laughs> I ask for something and, and, and she just says, yeah, subhanAllah. So what we are going to do is we are going to use light and sound and take somebody's attention. Same thing for you also. Maybe you are in a class, right? And somebody needs you. So there will be a system that we design so that we can ask somebody to come without interrupting what else is going on. Anybody already has any idea that they've thought about? Oh, I'm going to do it like this. Hmm? Yes, Celine? So what I did is used um, a, like a cup or something, not a cup, uh -huh. but like this cover thing that you can put little snacks in it. Uh -huh. And then I put it some rice in it uh -huh. and then I closed it uh -huh. and then um, I decorated it a little uh -huh. and then shake it then people know that um, I need something or it's time to Eat. Oh wow, so that becomes like a rattler, right? Is it like when you rattle it, there's a sound that comes yes, out? Yes, that's what it is. Wow, that sounds so interesting. You know you know what this reminds me of? You know, when I was growing up, I was little like you guys. In, uh, in, in my home country in Pakistan, they would have like, you know, somebody would come with a monkey and he would like, to, like he, when he is trying to tell him to do some tricks, then he has something like a rattler and he would move it to do, 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 and then this will, he will move with him and he will, you know, do different actions. So he will get his attention with that rattler and then he will have a stick along to make him jump over or flip over or do things. Have anybody seen a monkey show? Anybody? Yes? <laughs> so funny. No, no, no. We have no. Seen many monkey shows, right, Sister Javeria? Yeah, it's so, it's so interesting. Right? It's so interesting. I thought 
know 30 times. Uh -huh. One of my most favorite one was when I saw somebody had a similar like a longer stick and they did with the elephant show and they were like so many elephants and this guy was able to get all of them on top of a stool or going around and I was like wow how does he do that? So you know just like that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know like these people they train these animals but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us beautiful beautiful families and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants the families to be a source of peace and happiness for each other. Yes, Mariam Siri. So I have an idea. Like I'm going to make a robot. I already made it. Wow. And and I have these one of these kazoo thingies that make sound. And then and then it's going to flute like this. <laughs> How is it making the sound? Because look, look, there's this this kazoo thingy I decorated it, uh -huh. and then right here there are these holes, and then make sound like this. Wow, that's cool. That looks cool. Thank you for sharing that. That's really exciting. So that's when we start thinking. We we become thinkers and we can find ideas, right? So once you make that project, you know what? There is a hadith of the Prophet wasallam that khair, they are just three words. So I hope all of you can memorize them. Show me your fingers and let's say them in three words on our hands. Khairukum, khairukum, ahli. All right. Very good. Call a Rasul Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Khairukum. Khairukum. Li ahli. Okay. So. Yes. So the best of you are those who are best to your ex family. And uh, you know you are going to those who are able to communicate that how you communicate with your family. How do you do that? So sometimes mommy can be on a phone, sometimes you know daddy can be on a call. So how best we can communicate with each other being respectful and just like right now, mashallah look at that. You guys are communicating with me by raising your hands and that is so beautiful, right? So Noura, you want to say something next? Noura, you wanted to add something? So I made a P I'm done with my PBL. Mm -hmm. And I make a cake like this. Mm -hmm. So there's some rice that's not cooked, and I shake it. There's three sounds that I make: I make this sound, I make this sound, and I make this sound. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. That's such a good idea. So what is the first sound signifying? I'm still thinking about that. You're still thinking about that. That's a very good idea. Uh, typically, you know, like when we one of us are is using the bathroom and we know that we should not talk in the bathroom. And sometimes somebody is in really emergency and they really want to ask you what's going on. And, you know, they really want some of your decisions. So when my kids were little, I told them, if you really need mommy to say something. So my one clap is for yes and two claps is for no. Right. So if they are telling me that, oh, mama, I'm going outside in the park. So one means yes. Now I know you are going out. It's OK. Or Two means no. <laughs> you cannot go right now. Wait for me, right? So, so it's a great way when we work with our families and we know how to communicate. Just like in school, just like in other areas, in, in you know when you grow up in your offices, in your colleagues, and everywhere else, we have communication systems. So here in this final project, we will learn to work as a great, great team as a family, right? Yes, Isa, sweetie. So, I have. PBL and the PBL, there's a whole chart, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna put lots of lights and lots of sound. Every sound or every light means something. Yes, so that'd be cool, right? So let's say you have like a toy, you make build like a toy or something, and it has like three lights. So green means uh, go, 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 let's go, we need to come, or red can mean something else. So you can come up with the code that you have. What I got, I put it uh, some sticks and sticked it on the paper. Mm -hmm. Then I put beads on every one of them. Mm -hmm. I got two sticks, put beads on them, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna like ring it. So two of the sticks can make sound. Oh, wow, that sounds really exciting. That sounds really exciting, alhamdulillah. Excellent. All right, so inshallah, if you are able to say the hadith, and I hope all of you can say this, khairukum, khairukum li ahli. 
Very good. Sometimes when you've come into Ilm Academy, you've come to the school, or you've gone to the masjid, or you're going outside, you become at very best manners. But when you come to your own family, we forget and we frown, and that is not the right way to go. Why? Because the Prophet ﷺ told us, best of you are those who are best to the family. So give me a hand raise. How many of us would like to be best? Hmm? How many of us like to be best? So from now on, no frowning to our family, right? So fantastic families, stay happy, they appreciate each other. If something goes bad, they talk to each other, they communicate, they work things out, right? And Rasulullah said that I am the best to his family. He never ever scolded anybody in his family. SubhanAllah, if somebody was doing something great, if not, then he would help and things like that. Yes, Mubi, you want to say something? Or are you just raising hand for being best for the family? Best for the family? Okay, awesome, excellent. So, you know what? If you're able to say that and you're able to say that I how can communicate to the family, you get full five points. That means you exceed expectations. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Lisa. Um, uh, I I don't know the PBLs, um, but I just wanted to give an idea. They could they could just take some kind of cardboard and with the help they could like take hot glue and make uh, make a, like a smaller box and put a flashlight inside and then take paper and just try to cut something out to go aside and put it in the air and then we could make long sticks to like. Just to hold it and put it up on the or to show a sign note with a flashlight. There can be so many ideas, right? Yeah, so, yeah, like, you can always use, like, you can get from dollar store, like, yeah, cards and, store, like, and, and colors, mm -hmm. and you can use even color lights to work things out, right? So, we will look forward to seeing, and who knows, your idea can become a bestseller idea around the world and people can have better smiling families because they're not frustrated calling each other right subhanallah so alhamdulillah sometimes you know when you have bigger kids they are on their phones and they're not listening so it's a good idea to have the lights and you know nowadays you have the google home also which turns lights so that will be fun and cool to see what you guys just design and what do you think you should use now let's move forward and i just want to remind you that this was an optional thing the planner but I will put like the PDF in your Ramadan with your Ramadan Salah chart. So you can even, if those who are not printing it, they can even mark it, uh, you know, by yourself in your home, inshallah. So any anybody has any questions, any thoughts on the same? Any questions, anything that you want to say on the same? Maryam and Ayla, you had your hand raised up for anything specific? Okay. So, inshallah, that is there. Now, today, we have the target for story. Yes. Yes. Uh, sister Jabeel, mm -hmm. um, okay, um, could I uh, recite um, Surat al -Fatiha? But can you tell me what is our learning target today? Uh, it's... I can review learning. I can tell story of Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I can. All right, wonderful. So today we have the story. Let's let's first do that and then see if we have time. Tell me when the time is 11.30, okay? So anybody can give me a clue when it's 11.30. Now, you know what? Um, we did a story of a special, special prophet last time. Can everybody tell that? Unmute yourself and tell me which story, which prophet did we talk about last week? Yes, Arhan. Musa. Musa. Excellent. So I'm going to take a quiz, a quick quiz. I take your name and you tell me one thing from those stories, okay? So I'll start from Aiza. Any one thing? One short thing. I'm taking this as a quiz, okay? I know about Musa uh, story. Uh, in the third story, Musa salam, was going and then the river was there. It closed, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened it. Okay, Just thank, when thank you. Musa Just when salam, good enough, as long as I know. Safiya? Well, well, so, so they saw a big sea. And they couldn't cross the sea because there's too much water. Okay. But then, Allah made the water split into two and they could cross. Excellent. Nura? You can give me any detail, even from when he was born. Nura, are you there? Okay, Arhan. Any detail from Musa alayhi story? 
What did you say? Any detail from Musa alayhi salam story? Anything that you remember from Musa alayhi salam story? Musa alayhi salam crossed the river. Okay, very good. He crossed the river. Noura, you, you want to give me a detail? I don't know if you are hearing. Okay, Aliza? Um, I just wanted to tell something really quick about no, 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 I'm taking a quiz right now. It's uh, it, like Nura is oh. leaving, so her score is going down. So go ahead. Alisa. Okay, so let me. Uh, so so when he was he was walking somewhere, and then suddenly when he saw um some fire nearby, he told his family, I think. Yeah, I'll be back. I Very saw good. some. That's, that's enough for me. That shows me that you know. Excellent. All right. Maria? Yes. Okay. Any detail from Musa alayhi salam story? Yes, I have a detail. Uh-huh. So my detail is that my detail is that 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 Musa alayhi salam killed a soldier. You can tell. Raise your hand if you know the answer to this one. So the, the, the sea was already split. Firon, uh, Firon was following behind Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam and his people already crossed the river. Aliza, what happened? How did they drown? Um, because I think once they went in the middle of the sea, it, the water... The Prophet came much after Musa alayhi salam, right? Yeah. He said, I believe in Allah, but, but it was too late, right? Yeah. yeah. After you see the sign of Allah and then you believe in it, in him, then it's too late because you, now you know. It, the, the thing about believing in Allah is to believe in him unseen, right? If you haven't seen him, but you still believe in him. So that's what happened with your own. Assalamu alaikum, Sister Javeria. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sorry about that. Sister Javeria. Yes. Could I tell you something about Masallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Just hold for that for a second because that we're going to do in a, in a minute. But I just, Sister Gunnar, we got everybody in? Everybody was able to share? Uh, yeah, um, not everybody. Some kids haven't shared. Which one? Who all has not okay, shared? Musa, Musa, I want to hear from you. Anyone? Musa, 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 you can Musa, tell him from his little days when he was young. Yeah. Uh, uh, How did he come to Firon's palace, Musa? What happened? Three, two, one, three, what happened, Musa? Three, R, no, 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 oh. hold on. Musa, are you about to say it? Okay. Um. Okay, Musa, we are not.
not able to hear you if you're saying something. Zoha, you want to give us a detail? Zoha. And you know what? You always, always have the book with you. So you can do R E A D, read to succeed. Yes, Zoha. Musa Leisalam grew up to be a very good and kind person. Excellent. That's all I needed. That, that's all I need. One statement that you can say about Mus Musa Leisalam. Yes, Noura. You have a statement about Musa Leisalam? Ayla, be ready. Zoya, be ready. Musa Leisalam's mother um, put Musa Leisalam in a basket. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Zoya? Was there um, 12 fountains? Yes, it comes in this story later. Yeah, yes, there was, uh, uh, but that comes in, in the story a bit uh, later, okay? Um, that is in the story of, yeah, am I getting confused here, Sister Gulnar? Is it Yaqub Hunayis Salam's sons? Yes, sister, no, it's not in this story. You're right, right Sister Jamie. Yeah. yeah, that is in Yaqub Hunayis Salam's story, okay? So, but we didn't cover this in the last two stories that we discussed, okay, Zoya? But, but good connection. There are other prophet stories in which there is a mention of 12, uh, you know, tribes. And that is in Bani Israel's story. So, Ayla, yeah. any one thing about Musa, alayhi Yes, Ayla. I just came in. You just came in. Give us one thing that you know about Musa alayhi salam. You just came, yeah. Um, one thing you know about Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam was very wise. Okay, all right, I will take that. But I wish and I hope that, you know, like you see this learning target, I can tell story of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When somebody asks you about a prophet, you don't have just one thing to say. You should have like so many things to say about him. Why? Because you are ill learners. So inshallah, right now we are going to move towards uh, uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Musab, I'm still waiting if you are ready. Yes. Um, could I tell something about Muhammad Sallallahu yeah, Alaihi Wasallam? Go ahead. Everybody open on Facebook. Really yes, go ahead. Um, um, so one day how the disbelievers went and he killed the goat and went to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, um, make him alive and make him say la ilaha illallah and then, um, I will believe in you. And then he said, that's so and then and then he was he said wake up and then the goat said i'm so lucky you i'm so lucky i'm alive with it you and especially you did it for you did it to me and then he said that how do we how do we know about this story uh, i i eliza how do we know about this story eliza sister okay, you are frozen okay friends one thing very very important when it comes to the prophets you know like musa alayhi salam or rasulullah alayhi salam or isa alayhi salam you know, we have to be so careful that we cannot make any story from our side. So if you are sharing any story, just make sure we have a reference to it, okay? And the reference should be from Quran and Sunnah. 
there are lots and lots of non-Muslim books. Like if you go to even Costco or Sam's, you will see books from the people of the book and you will see some stories coming from Israeliyat and they have made up different, different stories. So always, always make sure that if it's in the Quran, if it's in the Hadith, then yes, it's correct. I will take it. But if it's not, then we will not take it. Okay. So inshallah, let's say this together. R E A D V to succeed. We have literally two minutes. So I need to give you lots of duas and hugs. Inshallah that you are going to read by yourself also. I'm going to do a quick reading right now. Hold on to any questions. Turn your listening ears on. And inshallah tomorrow we will do uh, the worksheet for this and see how much we know uh, the Prophet Sallallahu But whenever we say or we hear or say the word Muhammad, we should always, always, always say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Can you all say that once? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when you say it one time, you know Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala makes the angels and ten times prayers upon you. So, story of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It was Ibrahim alaihi salam and his son Ismail alaihi salam who built the Kaaba in the city of Mecca. So, next week when I ask you a quiz, you can give me some details. This was a special place where people only worshipped Allah, just as Ibrahim alaihi salam taught them. But as many years passed by, people forgot the teachings of Ibrahim alaihi salam. They began to worship other idols. Eventually, they had over 300 idols around the Kaaba. Muhammad Sallam lived and grew up in Makkah. Everyone loved him because he was a very honest and kind person. I want you to write this in your notebooks. Honest and kind. I need to become honest and kind as well. He never lied to anyone and he loved to help people. So you can draw your own name in your notebook and you can write some of these things. I, I only write once. Yes. So, so inshallah, what we can do is we can write our name. And if you want, if you love the Prophet Sallallahu then we can try to be like him, right? So he never ever lied and he loved to help people. So now we are growing up. If ever we have lied, we can just say, Astaghfirullah, Allah forgive us. And then inshallah, we will try to be like Al-Ameen, which means the honest one. Prophet never liked people worshipping idols, right? Just like today when we go out, we see people have all these statues and things outside. Muhammad never liked people that they are worshipping the idols. He also, saw the bad deeds. he also saw the bad deeds people were doing and the bad ways they treated others. This made him worry a lot. As he grew older, he sometimes left the city of Makkah and went to the peaceful and quiet caves in the mountain away from everyone. There he would think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his amazing creation, as well as how to help his people do good deeds. He would also think about the correct ways to worship Allah. What was the name of this cave, friends? Can everybody say that? Hmm? The name of the cave is Hira. Very good, cave of Hira. So one day when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know why I'm saying Rasulullah instead of saying Muhammad? It's just like you don't call your mom and dad with their names, right? You call them Ammi or Abu or Baba or Mama. So when you love somebody, you call them with their title, right? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in the cave. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent angel Jibreel alayhi salam with the message. Jibreel alayhi salam told the Rasulullah sallallahu that he was a prophet chosen by Allah to guide and teach people. And Jibreel alayhi salam also started to teach verses of the Quran, the last book of Allah. What was the first word that he gave him? First word, friends. Very good. Let's say this together. So when you read, you can share with others. So, friends, I'm going to take two more minutes just to finish this. Muhammad started to tell the people who lived in Makkah to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Just like today's class in the beginning, Maryam told us how his mommy was telling somebody about the Prophet. Did you know Surah al Quraysh wasn't nice the whole life? Right.
So maybe I'll give you time for questions. One second. And you know what? Uh, you know, he asked people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And that is a task that we need to do as well. And to believe that he was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But most of the people of Mecca, including the powerful tribe of Quraysh, did not listen or believe him. Did they do a right thing? No. No. Even though they called him Al Amin, the honest one, Rasulullah did not give up. He carried on telling people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he kept on calling people, he kept on calling people, but some people just closed their ears like that. When the people challenged him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped him with a great miracle, right? Uh, Rasulullah pointed at the moon. And you know what happened? It split into two. Even after seeing this, Quraysh did not want to listen to him. So if we are honest and trust Allah, Allah SWT will never let us down. So inshallah, we need to be very strong people. Yes, Sumaya here. Uh, I can't say, understand what you're saying, sweetie. Did you bring Okay, yeah. one second, friends. I think Samaya is talking. Uh, Samaya, why don't you unmute yourself? Because the rest I hear a lot of noise. I don't hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Did you bring Alayhi Salam, Captain Saint Muhammad, Allah Alayhi Salam, Allah Alayhi Salam, and Allah Alayhi Salam, and you had eagle? I'm replying, I don't know how to read. Yes, he said, I don't know how to read. And then he said, Iqra again, right? And then he hugged him tight. So make him realize that this is not a dream. It's something reality, right? So it's not like he's dreaming. It was real. And that made him really, really nervous as well at that time. And he then, after this experience, he rushed to his home where Hazrat Khadija was there. And he said, Zammi Luni, Zammi Luni, cover me, cover me. And this is what happens even today when we start learning and we start realizing that how amazing is Allah SWT. Sometimes you do get overwhelmed, right? And alhamdulillah, the more we learn, the more then easier and better we become, inshallah. So alhamdulillah, you have these pictures that you're going to be working with, inshallah, and putting the story together. And don't forget, on Friday, it will be after your reading, reviewing, and reflecting with be steam, show, and share. And the most important thing, khairukum, khairukum li ahli. Do not forget to give mom and dad a big hug. <laughs> Everything that you do, right? I memorized it. Alhamdulillah. So Jazakumullah khair for being here. If somebody has a question, then they can raise their hand and we can talk. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Mariam. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa rahmatullahi salam. I memorized the hadith. Yes, inshallah. We're going to stop here. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And inshallah, I will see you next. I will have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Because my favorite class is art. And art is today. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wanted to recite you surat al-bat. Okay, go ahead, Aliza. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته